let us pray even as we listen to the word of God today. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, I pray that, Lord, as we listen to the word of God today, I pray that, Lord, you shall speak to us, you shall speak to our hearts, even for the glory and honor of your, of your name. And it's in the name of our Lord Jesus we do pray and believe. Amen. We are learning about how to prepare ourselves for the season of bathing. How do you prepare yourself for the season of bathing? Uh, on Wednesday, we said that you, are, we were, that you have to seek God in prayer and fasting. Yesterday, we said that you have to cultivate the spirit of patience and the spirit of perseverance. And today, we are going to speak about it's important for you to strengthen your faith. Strengthen your faith. You may be asking me, Brother Charles, what do you mean by strengthening your faith? The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter number 10, verses number 7, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Brethren, allow me to tell you this wonderful morning. That thing that God has placed inside your heart so that you may be able to fulfill it, it requires a lot of faith. It requires faith. Just like as, as little as a mustard seed, it requires faith for you to be able to fulfill that faith. And in the scripture that we have just read, for you to strengthen your faith, the Bible is telling us that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Strength, uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When it says Hearing and hearing, you don't just hear the word of God today, then you leave it. After 10 days, you listen to another day or to, to, another, to the word of God. No, it requires a lot of diligence. It requires you to, be, uh, to, to have a lot of discipline. Hearing and hearing by the word of God, so that you may be able to fulfill that which God has placed inside you. And I'm here to tell you this wonderful morning, as you hear the word of God today, as you hear the word of God tomorrow, as you have that discipline of hearing and hearing the word of God, your, your faith is built. Your faith is built. And as your faith is built, you'll be able to fulfill that promise that God has set aside for you. You'll be able to fulfill that purpose that God wants you to fulfill. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Hebrews chapter number 10, verse number 23 in the NIV version, the Bible tells us, Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. He who promised is faithful. So the Bible is telling us that let, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. That hope that you are professing, that hope that you have, that one day this vision will come to pass, one day this promise will come to pass, I'm here to tell you that that God that has promised you, that God is a faithful God. That God is a faithful God. So allow me to tell you this wonderful morning that strengthening your faith, it ensures that you remain steadfast and unwavering as you approach that season of bathing. Before I pray, allow me to repeat this. Strengthening your faith, it ensures that you remain steadfast. Yeah? You remain steadfast in God. You remain steadfast and unwavering as you approach the season of bathing. So allow me to tell you this morning that it's so much important for you as a believer, for you as an individual, to strengthen your faith. It's important for you to strengthen your faith so that you may be able to fulfill that which God has set aside for you for the glory and honor of your name. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we want to say thank you because of who you are, Jehovah Father. I pray that even as your people and your sons and daughters, Jehovah Father, focus on the word of God, I pray that may their faith be built. And I declare this morning, may they fulfill that which you have set aside for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. And it's in the name of our Lord Jesus we do pray and believe. Amen.